The second component in the x-ray tube is the anode. Anode is completely formed of copper uh, and it is uh, uh, embedded to a uh, stem again uh, that will enhance, enhance, uh, enhance the whole x-ray tube uh, in oil and we will discuss this in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> so if you see that in the, in the anode there is a rounded area over here which we call the target. It differs in, in color from the surrounding copper. This is the target. It is also made from tungsten, the same material uh, from which the uh, tungsten filament is made. Now, the target is, uh, is situated in a position so that the electrons have been, after being activated through the step-up transformer from the cathode to the anode, they will all run uh, by the effect of the potential difference so that they will hit this specific area in the, uh, in the uh, anode. Let me bring it closer. Can you see it? This is the, this is the target. Okay. This area is the target. So all electrons will actually bombard this area. Now the kinetic energy which is, pre which is present uh, in the uh, heated up electrons and they have traveled all, all the way to the target, they will start to interact with the electrons, outer and inner electrons of the, of the tungsten uh, uh, atoms which are present in the target and they will transfer their energy to the uh, to, to the tungsten target and the the uh, this will be uh, the, uh, the transfer of, of of energies from the kinetic energy it will be emitted back it will be uh, given to the ta uh, tungsten target uh, and then it will be re-emitted again into the form of x-ray in one percent of the 70,000 volts and 90%, 99% of the remaining energy that has been transferred will, transferred will be uh, changed to heat. So, in reality, this tube as an X-ray machine, it is an inefficient machine because only 1% of the energy has been changed to X-ray. The, re the remaining is changed to heat. If the heat, which is all collected in this small area in the tungsten, it will not be dissipated. It will lead to the boiling and uh, hence uh, or rendering the uh, target into an ineffective uh, 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 gadget and formation of X-ray. So you need to or or we need to get rid of this tremendous amounts of heat. Of heat. Uh, that's why. Uh, t t tungsten is embedded into the copper uh, anode. Tungsten, unfortunately, it's a bad thermal conductor, so it needs uh, it doesn't connect uh, it doesn't dissipate heat uh, properly. So th that's why it is embedded in the in the anode. But on the other hand, tungsten is an efficient, very efficient material uh, uh, in production of X-ray because it has a high atomic number. It has a very high melting point. It has low vapor pressure. So it doesn't evaporate easily. It doesn't melt easily by the amount of heat. And at the same time, it offers a great amount of uh, electrons for the, uh, uh, to, to absorb the X-ray and then they be, will be emitted uh, 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 or to absorb the, sorry, the electrons from the tungsten filament and then they will be emitted into the form of X-ray. Now, if you see here that the position of the anode or the angulation of the anode is, is, is at a, a 45 degree angle, this will help in directing the resulting beam into one area which is called the uh, uh, window over here. The window is not leaded, all other uh, area of the X-ray tube is, L is, is leaded so that it will, it means that lead is incorporated into the uh, 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 glass except for this area for the passage of the X-ray. Okay, so that the X-ray will, will form into or will emit, will be emitted into the form of a, a, a cone that will be directed into 
uh, uh, through the filter and then throughout the collimator. Now the whole combination of, of the x-ray tube, all this is surrounded by oil so that oil will absorb the heat that has been transmitted from the uh, from tungsten target to the anode and then it will be absorbed and uh, 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 dissipated into the heat, heat uh, uh, into oil, oil being a material that can absorb large amount, amounts of heat so that it will cool down the anode and then it will cool down the tungsten uh, target. Otherwise, if the tungsten tar target remains heated up, it might boil and it has pitting, It will have uh, the, uh, which results in pitting on the surface. Pitting of the surface of the, of the target will lead to uh, 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 image unsharpness as a, uh, the, 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 the uh, ma machine is overused uh, and then it will lead to a reduction in the quality or direction uh, and the reduction of the uh, prop, uh, ability of the uh, um, targets, um, tungsten target to produce proper amount of X-ray. So, the negative uh, ca uh, cathode in which, which houses the uh, Tungsten filament, actually tungsten filament is housed in a molybdenum, uh, molybdenum uh, cup that will help in focusing the uh, electrons towards the uh, target, uh, which is again made of tungsten that is uh, uh, embedded into the uh, copper stem. Cathode, anode, and this is the X-ray uh, tube which actually you can find it in any x-ray machine, uh, differs in size though. Uh, this is, by the way, this is a stationary type of target. Other machines which, like the CT scans and other uh, uh, higher uh, energy x-rays, this will be a revolving type of, uh, of target so that it will help uh, dissipating or distributing the heat onto different onto different areas of the target so that not only one target or one area in the target will always be exposed to the stream uh, of the uh, electrons that is coming to uh, uh, to, to produce x-ray. However, in the dental x-ray machines in the field of 60 to 70 kV, uh, a stationary target uh, is used.